Nurse Chapel, please arrange the occupant of cell D3 to have a pre-release physical with a special emphasis on assessing his current cognitive faculties. Yes, Mr. Spark. I tell you, Cyrano, I can't abide the Federation much longer. Hattie, what do you mean? My good man, the Federation is a useless organization that only functions to reduce the rights of its citizens, so much so that it is almost impossible for a smuggler or er, merchant to earn a living without violating one of its many ridiculous regulations. Well, what can you do? I mean, if you... Well, CJ, we can resist the Federation. Who needs them after all? Indeed, what has the Federation ever done for us? Well, there's humanitarian relief for colonies in need. What? Oh, yes, they do provide that. And safe transit corridors. Remember what it used to be like before they established security patrols near merchant routes? All right, I grant you the humanitarian relief and safe transit routes are the two things the Federation has done. But in the convenient star bases where ships can be repaired. Well, obviously the star bases. I mean, the star bases go without saying, don't they? But apart from humanitarian relief, safe transit lanes, and the star bases, galactic law, uh, medical resources. Oh, oh yes. A guarantee of universal rights, evacuation of populations from disaster areas, and... Yes, all right. Fair enough. And they brought peace to the whole quadrant. I guess we would miss it if the Federation no longer provided a bulwark against the Klingon and the Romulans. An economic aid to poor Federation worlds. All right, all right, CJ. But apart from the series of star bases, medical resources, Galactic law, safe transit lanes, humanitarian relief, disaster evacuation, economic aid, guarantee of universal rights, and quadrant-wide peace. What has the Federation ever done for us? Hmm. Mr. Mudd, Mr. Jones. I happen to overhear your remarks. Yes, Mr. Spock. The argument you are employing, Mr. Mudd, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits overwhelming exception, an informal fallacy of generalization. I did think he was somewhat dismissive of the evidence. You are correct, Mr. Jones. His argument is invalid. It employed an overwhelming exception fallacy. This fallacy is a form of illicit generalization by which a general contention is stated, which requires exceptions that are so broad that there is no meaningful scope left for the original statement. Mr. Mudd, while one may come up with any number of reasons to argue that the Federation doesn't do enough for its citizens, your final statement, which listed many reasons in favor of the Federation, gave much credence to the argument against your statement that the Federation hasn't done anything of benefit. Listing a plethora of counterexamples for your contention, and then still being adamant, is committing the fallacy of overwhelming exception. Yes, of course. Thank you, friend Spock. Indeed. I shall definitely endeavor to reword my statements in the future, my good sir. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as overwhelming exception. It's only logical. <laughs> 